Now, as we look back to decisions to determine your destiny, that's why it ties back into us. Because when our perspective affects our attitude, the way we think and feel, well, then we need to really think about that. And that's why in Scripture, we talked about today, it jumps off. It says, set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Well, if that's what we want, we want to have a, a life full of peace, then we need to change our attitude. We need to change our attitude. Man, Paul, he, in his own right, he's like, man, one of the best church planners in the whole world, writing all these books of the Bible after coming to Christ, after being the enemy of the church. And he says that he still was fighting with that fight inside of, of following after Christ. He says here in Romans 7, verse 15, For I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. It continues, it says, For I delight in the law of God in my inner being, but I see my members another law, waging war against the law of my mind, and making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in all my members. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Yikes. Anybody else feel like that? You feel like, man, you know to do better, but then you keep messing up. And that's Paul is saying that. Paul! And we, I mean, God saved him from shipwreck and snake bite and all sorts of things. And man, speaking through him and planning the church. Paul is, man, I'm not there yet. I'm on my journey following Jesus. And if that's him, then that's me and that's you too. And if we're looking at ourselves really in the mirror, really taking a hard, honest look at who we are, we realize that there are some attitudes that we need to have changed. You know, when I was growing up, my dad would be like, boy, you need an attitude adjustment, which really meant I was in trouble. That's what that meant. But he was not wrong. I did need an attitude adjustment. How many people ever get that attitude going and it's just like, it doesn't matter what's going on, you just have that attitude. How many people look at a two-year-old and you see that attitude and you're like, why are you acting that way? And then you as a grown person, you're like, why am I acting this way? You wonder where they learn it from, right? I love this. It says, and we talk about this in Romans 6. Now, if we have died with Christ... We believe that we also will live with him. We know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Somebody say amen to that. That is what we're talking about, is that we are dead to sin. We're alive in God. So stop acting like you're dead. Be alive in God. Be alive in God and dead to sin, dead to the other attitude, bad perspectives, all the things that would drag you down. Man, be alive to God. Let those decisions be proper because we have the right attitude. 